All right, so our next lesson is about executive appointments and Senate confirmation. Now, these are uh, powers that the president has. Uh, we've mentioned them before in detail. We did not include them in the last video, like I said, breaking it up. So let's jump into it. Now, the president has appointment power and all federal judges and cabinet members, White House staff and ambassadors, they're all chosen by the president. However, there is a check on the president in this capacity. The Senate must interview these particular individuals and approve of their installment into this position before they can begin their work. Now, this check on the presidency is very, very, very important. To be able to interview every single appointment is vital because it will help us have an, ex an executive branch that is free from nepotism. So will some nepotism be at work? Probably. Can it be super contained and limited? Absolutely, it can. And that's the video. That's it. Um, executive appointments and Senate confirmation are super, super, super important because this might be the biggest check we have on the president other than maybe judicial review, which we'll get into in a few episodes from now. But essentially, the president can't just pick and choose their way to power and they cannot establish a power regiment to set up somebody else. They have to have everybody interviewed by the Senate. If the Senate doesn't approve of it, then it's, it's essentially a no go. So anyway, that's it. That's the video. If you have any questions, you know what to do. Put it in the comments, yada, yada, yada. Happy studying, guys.